What's poppin' dogs? Mr. Allen here with some solving of multi-step linear equations. Here we got fractions, man. We got negatives. It's a lot going on here, so let's get started. All right, first thing here, I'm going to distribute this negative 2 into my parentheses. And I got myself negative 2x minus 8, still have the minus 5, equals nothing to do over here on the right-hand side. So we'll make it 16x plus 22. All right, now I'm going to combine my like terms on the left-hand side. And then I'll start moving things from side to side, okay? So we get negative 2x, then we have minus 13 equals 16x plus 22, all right? Now I'm gonna get my x's on one side, my numbers on the other. Because this 16x is positive, I'll go ahead and add 2x to both sides, and I'll bring the 22 over to the other side, or rather, subtract 22 on both sides. So now we have ourselves 18x, and I have negative 35. Lovely. Beautiful. All right. We're going to divide by 18. All right. Cool. Awesome. Fantastic. And I get X equals negative 35 over 18. 35 is divisible by 5 and 7. Neither of those work with 18. So we're just going to leave it as negative 35 over 18. Not a very satisfying answer there when we get those nasty fractions. But hey, man, it is what it is. We're going to roll with it. It's awesome. Okay. Let's go with pink here for this one. So I've got, uh, again, i got to distribute. we got to distribute in a couple spots. So the 1 half is going to get distributed. The 12 gets distributed. 1 half times 6 is 3x. Uh, half of 14 is 7 plus 6 equals. Then we get 12x minus 48. Okay, cool. Distribution's done. Now we got to combine some like terms. So I'm going to get 3x, and then we got 13 equals nothing over here. So we're going to leave this guy the same on the right-hand side. So as always, I like to do any kind of distributing that needs to be done. I like to clean up each side. Then I start making big moves, okay? So I'm going to, again, actually get my x's to the right-hand side so the x's stay positive, okay? That's just my preference. Some people will say, always go to the left, always go to the left. I like to make them positive. All right, so we're going to subtract 3x. So we got ourselves, what, 9x right here? I'm going to add 48, add 48. So that's going to give me, let's see here, 1, pop a 1 up here. That's going to be 61. Cool. Awesome. Divide by 9. Once again, uh, we're not going to have anything that we can divide that or simplify that by. So it's just going to be an awesome, terrible looking fraction. 61 over 9. Whee! Boom. Looks like a car. All right. Anywho, moving on. Ooh, only one thing to distribute here. How wonderful. Okay, so I'm going to distribute this, and I've got two-thirds x minus 6 equals 2x minus 2. Okay, so here's where some decisions have to be made, guys. Um, I can get common denominators for everything. That's cool, okay? Or my preferred method, I can multiply both sides of the equation by the same number, which needs to be my common denominator, in this case, Three. So we're going to multiply this side by three. And whatever I do to one side, I have to do to the other. Because I can add the same thing to both sides. I can subtract on both sides. I can divide on both sides. I can multiply on both sides. So when I do that, I know I now have to distribute again. But I'm going to get the threes to cancel, leaving me with 2x minus 18. right? And then over here, I'm going to have equals, well, 3 times 2 is 6x. 3 times 2 is then negative 6. Cool. My fractions are gone. Now I can get everything on one side, or sorry, my x is to one side, numbers to the other. So subtract 2x, and I get 4x. Add 6, I get negative 12. Hey, this one's actually going to work out nice. Divide by 4, and I get x equals, that's going to be what, negative 3? Nice. Beautiful. All right, a good one, a good one. Next one up here. I'll go with blue. All right, we're going to distribute first. So I got to distribute this negative 2. Now, some people are tempted to do 6 minus 2 is 4 and distribute that. Uh-uh. No bueno. Not okay, man. That's against PEMDAS, against your dear Aunt Sally. Order of operations. Multiplication division come before addition subtraction. So I got to distribute this negative 2 to both of those guys inside the parentheses. So I have 6 minus 2x minus 2 plus 4 equals 5x minus 1. Now I'll combine like terms. We got a few of them. 6 minus 2 is 4, plus 4 is 8. So we get 8 minus 2x equals 5x minus 1. Man, every single one of these, I have the larger x over here. So we'll just keep rolling with it. I'm going to add 2x. 
I get 7x, add the 1, I get 9. So we got 9 over here, and we got ourselves another fraction. Divide by 7, I get x equals 9 sevenths. Final answer, beautiful. That's four dope questions. A lot of times on tests and quizzes, we'll have them work out so they're like nice, right? Get x equals negative three, but it's not like it's not possible to get fractions as you see here. I got a lot of fractions because I just threw random numbers together, but process is still the same. It's always satisfying when you get a nice, nice number there. I get that. So, but it's okay to get fractions. Okay, guys, it is okay to get fractions. Don't think you did something wrong necessarily because you got a fraction. You could have done something wrong, but it's not because there's a fraction. All right, awesome, fantastic, dope.